Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel if you are new here and today we are going to be stuffing my third and final paycheck in October. I'm sorry if you guys see a glare right here. It's because my window's open and I'm filming kind of late in the afternoon. And I'm sorry if you hear any background noises. It's because Milo's outside and he's crying. So that and everybody's like awake in my house and they're all moving everywhere. So just letting you know about that. Um, let me first set up all of the cash and then we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are going to be stuffing a total of $462 today. And let me first move this out of the way. And let's unstuff my wallet. I know you guys can hear them walking in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, they're walking around the house. Anyway, um, I need to redo my envelopes because the seal is coming out and like money keeps slipping out and I don't like that. So by the next video, you'll probably see um, new envelopes. So Milo has, oops, sorry. Milo has $10 left. Um, I'm going to put this on the side for right now because you guys will see his new envelope in my sinking funds. Groceries has five, six, and seven dollars left. We will also put this on the side. I think we're going to use that for our savings challenge today. Gas still has the five dollars that we put in last week, but I'm going to roll that over. Spending has... Five, ten, fifteen, and sixteen. I'm gonna roll over the dollar and I will put this back into spending to roll over. Disneyland, we did go to Disneyland this past week, so we now have 20, 21, and 22. I'm going to roll this over because I have to give my boyfriend money for my annual pass because it's on his account. And then subscriptions still has the $22. Yep, 21 and 22. Okay, and then that is it for the envelopes. So let me just get my paper and we will get started. I don't know about any of you guys, but like my allergies are really bad and I keep sniffling and I wasn't sniffling before this video, so I'm sorry. There are going to be a lot of cuts in this video, so just bear with me. Milo this week is getting $20. Groceries is getting $50 this week. I get three paychecks per month, but I get paid bi-weekly and that's normally where um, my cash envelopes get stuffed. And I don't think I was giving myself enough or I'm overspending, I'm probably overspending, but that's why I decided to bump it up this week. Also, let me know down below in the comments what days you guys normally watch your cash stuffing videos. I don't have a set schedule yet, but I'd love to know what you guys um, prefer so I could do that for you. So yeah, anyway, um, gas is getting $40. My car's still okay at the moment, so this should be enough. So it now has $20, $40, and $45. Spending is getting $50. So now it's 50, 55, 60, and $65. The Sephora sale is coming up and there's like one item that I wanted to get. So that's why this is a little bit higher this week. Disneyland is getting $37. So that is 20, 30, 5, 36, and 37. Let me just add this. So it now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59 dollars. 38 of it is going to go for my Disneyland Pass. Subscriptions is going to get 20 dollars. $7 is 
So it now has 20, 40, 41, and 42. So this completes my subscriptions for October. And today is the, what day is it? It's the 29th that I'm filming this, but my subscriptions always get taken out of my credit card. So at the end of the month, I always pay it off. So subscriptions, I'm going to take that out after this video and go deposit that into my bank. Time for our sinking funds. So health insurance is getting $50. So it now has one, two, three, four, four hundred, five hundred, five twenty. And I think I'm going to go deposit this also into my savings account. So I don't want to keep that much. And then I also made a cute little placeholder. This is my loan who's a baby, so I will probably do that after this video. And medical is getting $50. So medical now has 50, 70, and 90. Travel is going to get $80. So 50, 70, and 80. Sorry if I keep moving the tripod, you guys. It's in the new area, and I'm not used to it being there because I'm not sitting down right now. I'm actually standing. So I'm around it and I keep accidentally hitting it. So I'm so sorry for that. But anyway, travel has 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, and 180. I actually have an upcoming trip at the end of November. And then I also have one in January. So I really have to start bulking that one up. And my trackers are already updated. That's why I'm not doing that on camera with you guys right now. Gifts is also getting $50. So this is our last 50. So gifts now has 50, 100, 120, and 125. I've already started Christmas shopping. So if you guys haven't seen my last video, you wouldn't know that I'm actually really late on this because I came back to my channel in October. And I didn't save before that. The only envelopes that I really saved for was just health insurance. But for gifts, which is also my Christmas envelope, um, I have decided that I'm just going to put everything on my credit card and then pay everything back once this envelope is filled. So that's how I'm doing it this year. Next year, I hope to plan a little bit better. And I won't have to use my credit card that much. So self-care is not getting anything this month. My car registration is getting $10. So it now has 10 and 20. Triple A is getting $5. So this is five and 10. So these aren't due until next year, but I'd rather have them out of the way now so I don't have to worry about them later. And the reason why I put Milo's um, rollover money from my cash envelopes into my sinking funds is because I made him a personal envelope. Now, this isn't um, a savings fund. This also isn't a long-term sinking fund. Um, this is just strictly whatever I don't spend in my wallet, I'm going to put here because his dog food is expensive. His medication is expensive, and if I want to buy him toys, it's expensive, and it's not necessarily something that I want to put into a savings account, because if you haven't noticed, I no longer have an emergency fund, a future fund, and a regular savings fund. I just lumped all of them together because it was easier for me. I felt like I wasn't putting enough money into it back then when I was originally starting my cash envelope system, so that's why I just keep it in my bank account. I don't really talk about it because I don't think you guys really would care about it because it's like four different categories all lumped together into one. But yeah, anyway, I'm just keeping that one off my channel. It's just easier to do um, my sinking funds this way with cash. So I also didn't show you this part. 
So the front is vellum and this is cardstock, but this is what Milo used to look like when he was a puppy. And I'm going to put his $10 in here. So now when I need it, I can just come to this envelope and get whatever I need out. And I don't have to go to the bank to take it out. So that completes our cash envelopes and my sinking funds. We are going to go into my savings challenge next. So I'm using my Moterm box because I don't have a dedicated box for this yet, but these are the ones that we've done so far. And let me see how much we had in rollover. So this savings challenge, I'm not being strict. It's purely whatever I have left over from my um, cash envelopes. So we have five, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to be putting $8 into this envelope right here. And then I handmade all these envelopes. So some of them are a little funky. I put the cute ones on top, but you'll see some of the ones that got stuck in my laminator towards the end. So this is $8. I'm going to write it right here. Hopefully you guys can see, okay. Eight dollars. We're going to color this in. Okay. We are all done with that one right now. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super duper fast. I wasn't as chit chatty. It's because everyone is home right now and it's kind of giving me anxiety because when I edit this video, I'm probably going to hear all the background noise. So I'm going to try my best to edit all of that out. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you made it this far by posting a, let's do a pumpkin. I think there's a pumpkin emoji or something related to Halloween. Comment it down below if you made it this far in this video, and I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!